if I were an alien and I would come down and I don't know anything about the human humans, and I like wanted to get an understanding about what is what is the difference between an engineer or a designer, or what what do they do? And I just I I, I didn't speak language. I just observed. I'll just tell you that I see two different. I, I see uh, people drawing boxes with arrows and lines, <laughs> right? And they draw a little bit and they think about and they might talk a little bit, and they might erase a little bit, might draw a different arrow. But in the end, the artifacts, these are like the footprints in the sand that engineers and designers leave, they look alike. <laughs> and so again, there's so much about, you know, putting yourself in the shoes of the person, even if even tacitly, even if you don't put in, even if you don't encode, again, what Dan mentioned earlier, over comprehensive documentation, or yeah, yeah. right? It, um, uh, even the sort of the decisions you make in drawing the diagram reflects what's in what mental models you have, and so I would argue that it's it, that that if I you know if I blurry out a lot of the sort of the words, I honestly don't think that I, anybody would really know the difference. So I think you know the the point here is that um, the we've got a strong inference that the cognitive process that engineers use and the cognitive process that um, designers use might have some similarities.